So I've got a ton of soldering to continue to do on this Apple II uh, RevZero clone board. I've just barely started and this video is going to basically be a soldering video. I will not be soldering in real time on it. I'll probably speed it up like 6x or 10x. Put some music over it. Uh, if that's not your kind of video to watch, uh, feel free to bail now. I personally would find it boring. But I've had viewers say that they enjoy it, and you know, if they do, uh, good for them. So as you can see, there's a lot of sockets still even left to mount. But I need to get soldered in the sockets we tacked in place in an earlier video and go from there. I'm going to use my fume extractor as part of why I'm not going to be able to talk through this as it makes a lot of noise. But uh, anyhow, with that, let's dive in and solder.
well, in a, I guess, attack of insanity, I soldered all the sockets in one pass. Uh, it took an hour and nine minutes. A little bit fatigued. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy with how things have turned out. I'm right now just inspecting to make sure all the notches are down, which they are. I threw out the process. Oh, no, they're not. There's one right there that is wrong. We're going to pull him off and swap him. I can't believe I did that. Actually, I can because I'm fatigued and I shouldn't have pushed through, but I did. So we will reverse him. Uh, you probably saw me holding the board down tight against the workbench so that the socket would be flush. There was a couple sockets that looked like they weren't, and so I corrected. Uh, I'm looking for missed solder joints, even though I've inspected. And of course, I am finding them. And that's because, again, I pushed too hard through that. I really shouldn't have done that in one session. That should have been multiple sessions, but such as life. So that second socket up right there is upside down. That really is sad that I got that one upside down. I'm not surprised, like I say. I've probably got the wrong tip on here for this. But we'll find out. Let me verify one more time which one. Right here. Hopefully, that was enough to get it to release, because I really had the wrong tip on there, and I don't think it was. Hopefully, I won't destroy the socket. Oops, don't wedge like that. So it didn't take a whole lot of force to get that out of there. So it wasn't like I was pushing really hard. I wasn't. I was just gently prying. Whether it'll go back in is a different question, and it did. So I got pretty lucky there with that, to be honest with you. Uh, it was a little bit of residual solder, but it wasn't much. And so when I pried... I could feel it move as soon as I pried, so I knew it was basically loose. It was just tight in places so I said don't ever force I would have preferred for it to have fallen out but given the diameter of these pins versus the vias there was little chance of that so he's in the right way around let's do another scan so uh, just say there's one 16 pin socket left. It's for the keyboard connector and hopefully this is on camera It's for the keyboard connector down here because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the keyboard yet I've left that one off intentionally So and this is an empty position here. There's no traces that come to it. No power. No anything it is for We talked about this maybe in the first video if in this design there'd been an issue or you needed to add a chip You've got a spot here that could take a 16 or 14 pin socket very easily and then you got some prototyping area down here where you could also drop in sockets uh, to do you know hardware changes during debug or, or modifications later on so uh, I was gonna take another look at all the solder joints one socket at a time I'm gonna say I spotted a couple of pins already that had been missed that's not a great solder joint Oh, well, maybe it's okay. I'm looking for shape and shine. Uh, that's a lot rough right there. Let's just see if refilling it cleans that up. It's going to want a bit more solder, I think. Overall, I've got a 
pretty consistent set of solder joints, but that's just more years of practice than anything else. Uh, if you remember back and watch the videos on the big board uh, project, there's a missed one. You know, even though I tend to count these as my in my head as I'm soldering, you know, they go down the sides, I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as I solder, and the other side, one through seven on a 16 pin socket because I've already soldered the corners. Uh, it's still quite possible to miss pins because I my wind does wander away from the soldering that becomes a fully muscle memory thing at times when really I should be paying attention is that a bridge that looks like a bridge that was a bridge uh, that looks like a bridge I don't think it is, but what I could see did move, kind of clear up as I flowed. I a couple times had uh, rosin in the solder pop and blow solder out uh, and create little lines of solder on the board. I really hate that, but it happens. Uh, I'm not happy with that solder joint. So I generally, just to kind of recap what we did here, I started with the largest socket, so the 24 is in the 40, there's a 24 down here. Uh, I went to the 16s, at some point I did the two eights in the middle just because they were a, a, a tube by themselves or a rail by themselves and I didn't want to throw them away accidentally. Uh, so I went ahead to those and I jumped back in, I finished out the C of 16s, like I can say with the one extra for the keyboard. And then I moved on to the 14s, and, and the reason for doing that is you can put a 14-pin socket in a 16-pin position really easily and get it soldered in and not even notice when you're soldering and then down the road go, oh crud, I've got the wrong size socket in there. You can't put a 16-pin into a 14-pin socket. So by stuffing all the 16 pins, I know that I've got them in 16-pin positions. So really, are we are down to a handful of components here. It's just all the discrete stuff. So, I'm going to call this video finished at this point. If you actually watched all the way to here, you're a real trooper. I appreciate it. I would guess one person on the planet will probably hear this if you do <laughs> comment. So, I know somebody actually got through it. It would be quite interesting to know. Like I said, I've had a few viewers actually comment. They enjoy watching the soldering montages. Uh, they find it peaceful. So anyhow, single pass soldering session, found three missed pins, one socket in upside down, actually not bad for as many solder joints as that was. So uh, I will see you in video four, so uh, see you then.